Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lacey Elizabeth and I am so excited. Yes, girl, I'm so excited because you know what? I still have my giveaway going on and we're unboxing new product today. Yes, Natasha Denona dropped brand new liquid shadows and girl, girl, I'm living for them. So I'm so excited, let's get into it. Natasha Denona, I love Natasha Denona, I love her products. She just dropped brand new chromium shadows. So these are the chromium shadows right here. This is how they come in these cute little boxes like that. I'm gonna start unboxing. We're gonna unbox, we're gonna swatch, we're gonna live it, we're gonna love it, and then I'm gonna try it on. So this is what it looks like right here. This one is the color. This is the color Dragonfly. That is stunning. Can you guys see the reflect on that? Like, I mean, right? Ooh, I'm loving the packaging. It's super, super cute. Loving it. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. We're just gonna swatch that. Oof. Oh, girl. Yes! Can you guys see this? Like the color shift? Hopefully, it's picking it up on camera. How amazing that is. That is really, really pretty. So this one kind of shifts from gold to pink. All right, so that's Dragonfly. Okay, so this one is Scarb, and this is the greenish one, and I'm so excited for this one for fall. I, ooh, ooh, that's beautiful. Oh, that is so pretty. Guys, check it out. Yes! Oh, that is good. That is so good. I can't wait to... It's like, it's color shifting in the bottle, blue, purple, and gold with a tiny bit of orange. And green, obviously. But I'm excited to swatch what this looks like. Oh, that's giving me everything. That's stunning. Can you guys see that? Hopefully the lights are picking it up. That is beautiful. Can you guys see how amazing that color is? <gasps> Ooh, I'm excited for that. Okay, this one is Scarb. Put that one here. This one is Dogbane, the one in the red box. So I'm excited for this one. Okay. I actually thought it would be a little bit more of the red, but it's more brownie. It's pulling blue, it's pulling green, it's pulling copper. I guess this one I would call more of a copper color. I honestly, because of the red box, I was hoping for more of a intense fire orange kind of moment, but we're not done yet. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so this one is sheerer than the rest. I'm gonna go in with a second coat. It's still really sheer compared to the other two colors. I'm getting patching. It's not nearly as like opaque as the other two. It's very sheer, like I don't know if you can see that. Like I'm kind of, I did go in with two coats. I can see patching with this one for liquid shadow. I I want it to apply. I don't want it to be patchy and sheer in spots. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Like that color is giving me bronze. It's giving me everything. We're gonna test it out. 
that's why I'm doing this for you guys. We're gonna test it out and I'll let you guys know. Like, I love the products. I love Natasha Denona. Girl, she just launched a brand new palette. I'm waiting for that to come in. So that's forthcoming. Trust me, can't wait. But I don't want it to be patchy. Like, that's not good. Honey, no, no, no. This one is called Ultraviolet. This is the one in the purple box. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. That is pretty. Let's swatch this. Ooh. That is very, very pretty. Can you guys see the color change? Is it... There, can you guys see that color change? That is stunning. Ooh. Okay, this purple, this one was called Ultraviolet. Stunning, like beautiful stunning. Like, mm, right? I can't wait to put that up there. Okay, this one is called Infanude, and I'm excited for this one. I want to know what it looks like. Okay, first impressions. Like a shimmery nude. It's giving me kitten vibes from Stila so far, but without the, the glitter. Okay. I'm going to put, I guess I ran out of room. I'm going to put this one at the top here. Ooh, that is stunning. Ooh, love that. Can you guys see that? Ooh, that's beautiful. So pretty. This one's giving me ballerina, soft, very pretty, feminine. Like, she's fancy, but not like extra. This is what this one's giving me. This one, again, is called Infa Nude, and this is just like a nude plus one up. Like, she's a little, you know, she's a little extra. But this is so, so, so pretty. Loving that. So these are all the shades right here. Totally loving that. I'm gonna put these on my eyes. I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about the blending and we'll do two finished looks. Be right back. Okay guys, so I just went in and I got a brand new makeup wipe right here. The one I pulled from was the Nivea 3-in-1 Cleansing Wipe for sensitive skin, I believe. It's the gentle ones in the pink, with the pink label. So. I've got nothing more on here, but I wanted to see how these remove. So, I'm just gonna put that makeup wipe on there and I'm doing one swipe and I got most of it off. That's really, really amazing. Okay, so they literally come off super, super easy. I'm just going to wipe that. I have no excess glitter or shimmer on my hand. Love that, it's easy to remove. That's all I really care about is that it's not gonna pull or tug on my lids when I'm removing it. Way to go, Natasha. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back, guys. Hey guys, I'm back. I've got my base on, I've got my brows on, so I thought let's go in, bronze up the face really, really quick. So for that, I'm using my Scott Barnes Soleil Bronzer, which I'm living for, and I'm using this powder brush by Makeup by Mario. So I'm just going to go in, bronze up the face really, really quick. It's because I look really pale and dead, and I'm like not living for it in the monitor, so... Let's just bronze really, really quickly. Give it some life. Ooh, right? Okay. Better, she's not looking so dead. Okay, 
let's get in there and use these brand new Natasha Denona shadows. I'm super excited. I'm thinking two different eye looks. Okay guys, so out of these five shades right here, I'm definitely going to try the green. So that's a definite. And the other one, because I only have two eyes, I'm thinking I'm going to try this purple. Yeah, let's do those ones. Let's try the green and try the purple. The other three I'll try at another time, or who knows, I'll throw them in the giveaway. You guys probably would like that. I'll probably throw them in a giveaway. If it's not this one, it'll be a future giveaway, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Natasha Denona Chroma. This is Scarb. I'm so excited for this green shadow. So I'm just gonna go in. I've got some product on the applicator. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. this one. <laughs> I'm gonna go in, ooh, that's beautiful. Before I start in with this too deep, I should let you guys know that I actually went in and primed my lids with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. Ooh, that's stunning. Okay, take a little bit more product. Ooh. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna work quickly. I'm gonna go in with this Morphe shadow brush right here. This is from the Black and Gold collection. It's one of my favorites. Unfortunately, there is no name on it, but I am gonna go in. This is a large brush, but I am gonna go in. I'm just buffing out those edges so we have no sharp crease, and I'm paying very close attention to where the bristles are going. I could have gone in with a smaller brush, and I have in the past, with other, like if it's Stila or Natasha Denona, I've gone in with smaller brushes. I like a larger brush when I'm doing my blending. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more pigment. Kind of doing a second coat. I'm just kind of taking it a little bit more to the side here. Okay, that is so, so pretty. Okay, loving that. It's blending that out with that same brush. Ooh. Right? You guys tell me that that isn't stunning. That is so beautiful. I love that. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with this one right here, which is ultraviolet, which is the purple shade. And I'm so excited for this one because I mean this, this is stunning, right? Okay. Ooh, that is beautiful. That is really, really pretty. I like that a lot. I'm gonna go in with this MAC 246 brush right here to do my blending. Like that is really pretty. Two completely different eye looks. That is really pretty. 
Now I'm thinking for a second coat, I want to actually add, what is this one called? This one is Dragonfly. Let's mix Dragonfly with Ultraviolet, which is our purple shade that we just applied. So I'm gonna try a little bit of Dragonfly on there just to kind of see what that does. I'm gonna try it here in my outer V. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go in with that same brush by MAC, which is our 246. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so they blend beautifully if you're going to use two different shades of the same product. Like that is so pretty. I'm now gonna go back in with Dragonfly, which is our purple shade right here. And I'm actually going to put a little bit more Dragonfly here in my inner corner. See, when I'm in different lights, this looks totally green, but it's also picking up that beautiful green pigment from the other eye. Ooh, that is stunning, right? I don't know which one I love more, the green or the purple and pink. That is so stunning, love that. Okay, I am going to quickly go in, finish off the rest of my face, and I will be right back to give you guys my final thoughts on this amazing, beautiful product. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so I've got the rest of my face on. I look really cute. I went in with my highlighter and I put a little bit of highlighter right on the inner corner of the green look. And I'm thinking, okay, I love that. So I was thinking, I'm gonna go back in with this green shade right here that we put on our lid. I am going to go in with this Natasha Denona number no. three liner brush right here. But I thought, Let's go in, I'm gonna take some of that product, put it on the back of my hand, take my liner brush. I'm literally just going to pick up some of that product. I'm going to go under my waterline right here. Just with a really fine line. Just gonna wing it up. Oh, that's everything. That just, that is so pretty, right? Loving that, okay, okay. Loving that green, ooh, okay. So now I'm gonna go in with I'm now gonna go in with this MAC 209 SE brush right here, which is a very, very fine tip brush. I am going to go in, because we have the purple on, we have the pink on. Where is the pink? This one right here. I'm gonna go in with Dragonfly I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand just like that. I'm gonna go in, pick up some of that pigment. Oh, that's stunning. Super excited. Okay, I'm gonna go in. 
I'm gonna just line the bottom of my lash line. All the way up to the inner corner. Ooh, right? Yes, that's beautiful. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that pigment. And I'm just kind of making like a winged liner effect out the side. Right? Right? That is so pretty. Okay. Because I want to be a little bit extra with this dramatic, like, fiery, hot, pink, purple eye look. I'm going to grab my Scott Barnes highlighting palette. Oh, you see what I'm going with this. Yes, you see it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to grab a fluffy brush. This one is a Sigma All Over Blend. E37, and this is a big fluffy brush right here. I'm gonna go in to this pink called Peekaboo, and I'm grabbing some of that pigment. I've got quite a bit of pigment on there. I'm gonna take this into my inner corner. I'm gonna take this into my inner corner. Just above, up not above, we're going under the brow bone. Oh, that's stunning. Only if you guys could really see what I'm seeing right now. I mean, can you like zoom in? Because this is stunning. Oof. I'm gonna take a little bit more peekaboo. right you can't ask for much more than just that like just that is just that's gorgeous okay guys just to finish off something i wanted to share with you guys i went into golden glow here in my palette just like that and i just put a little bit right here on top of that green and gold just to blend and i mean that looks sickening Like that, that right there is everything, right? Okay, final thoughts. I absolutely love the collection. It's stunning, it gives me life, it gives me everything. It does have a six month shelf life. So for the price, it's $37 Canadian. Definitely it's a little high up there for a uh, liquid shadow, but at the same time, I mean, can you get that anywhere else? Like. This is giving me life, like I love it. And remember guys, I've got this huge giveaway going on. All you guys need to do to be entered in the giveaway is make sure you're subscribed, right there. <laughs> and follow me on social, right there. And comment down below. Okay guys, until next time. Bye guys, live, love, and lip gloss.